this video for like two days now. Well, I guess this is the third day. But like I've been trying to film for two days now and it's just not happening. Like I don't know. I filmed a, like one clip on Tuesday and one clip on Wednesday. I don't know why. Like I just didn't have the words. I didn't have creativity in my brain to film. So I was like, okay, we're going to sit down today and we're finally going to actually film this video. So what I'm doing in this video is I think I'm going to do like a reading vlog for Throne of Glass series. And I've already started on Assassin's Blade. Yes, I'm reading that first because I don't know. That's just what I've decided. So I started that two days ago and I actually have to finish that today because my loan expires and I won't be able to read it anymore. I've never read a book and talked about my opinions on it while I'm reading the book until like last month. I read the Avatar series with my sister and like we talked about the books as we were reading them so it's easy for me to talk to my sister because she's my sister but I've never talked to a camera so that's like the learning curve I'm going through so that's just like the dilemma I'm having is how to talk about a book to a camera while I'm reading it but we're gonna figure it out now this vlog I think will be spoilers like I don't know maybe I'll try no I don't know like, I'll try to talk about- I don't know. I'm just gonna say it's spoilers. So I started on Assassin's Blade, and I'm really enjoying that so far. Like, at first when I started it, I was so out of it, and, like, I could not process what was happening until I got to, like, chapter 6, I think, and then I was like, okay, I'm understanding what's going on, but, like, learning new names and, like, being thrown- into a new fantasy world is always so hard. Well, always. This is the second fantasy series I'm reading, but yeah. I think I'm on the fourth of the novellas now because there's five novellas in that book and I'm on the fourth one. I'm enjoying seeing the relationship. Not relationship, but like the little crumbs we're getting of Selena and Sam. But I'm like, what's what's gonna go on there? Like, I need, I need a little more, I need... What is going on? Why can't I do this? Okay, so I was reading... I think it's the second novella. Selena stops in, like, that town. And she, like, stays at the inn. The inn-ish, I think. And it's, like, the girl Irene is there. I'm so excited to see where that goes. Like, I hope Irene is in the future stories because I did, like, seeing her character so far. But I, I literally don't know anything about this whole series, so we're going to have to see. It definitely feels different because it's novellas all compiled into one. But I'm thoroughly entertained so far. I don't know how I feel about Arobin, I think is his name. The leader of the assassins she works with. I'm literally booting her up. What was that about? Like, calm down, sir. And Ansel, oh my gosh, Ansel in the third novella. Like, oh my gosh, I was not expecting that ending. I'm really interested to see like more world building which I assume I'll get into in Throne of Glass but like I want to see what like the politics are and I know everything because like right now I'm getting a lot of names and people and places but I'm like still confused onto who they are and what they are. Yeah I'm excited to like get into the next book and start understanding things more. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too confusing. So I don't have anything to do today other than lunch with my sister. I should have time to finish Assassin's Blade. And if I don't, then I don't know what to tell you. That's on me. So I'm just going to continue reading Assassin's Blade. Also, I don't have- I didn't pay for my Kindle ads to be gone. Does anyone else get these like stupid- like kids book ads but like the covers are so ai generated like i'm so annoyed and i have like my ads on like the filtered like based on what i'm reading but i still get these and i want them gone just wanted to know if anyone else deals with that too selena and sam like i'm already rooting for them, I want them to be together because, I don't know, there's a little bit of tension. But we'll see. Like, I have no idea what's about to go down in seven, all seven of these books. So I just got done reading The Assassin and the Pirate Lord and oh my gosh. 
like when I first started reading this I was so like out of it and I could not understand what was happening or anything but like once I hit chapter three four five like I was okay I was getting into the groove and now I'm fully in it like continuing the chapter I'm so in it now and oh my gosh Selena and Sam I already love them so much and I'm like already rooting for the romance from them just had to update but we'll see what happens so now I'm on the assassin and the healer oh my gosh guys literally the crumbs of romance have paid off and I'm so happy I really like I didn't know if anything would actually happen between them and it did and I'm so happy right now. That was so worth it. Like I don't know. It literally wasn't that much. But I don't know. I'm just so I felt so in it, like I felt like I was in the book with them. Anyways, it's been a while since I filmed, not a while, but like I filmed this morning and then I went to lunch and now I'm back and I've just been reading for like an hour and I'm at 70% so I think I'll finish this tonight. I mean, I didn't know if I would enjoy the, the Assassin's Blade because it's like all the novellas, but I am enjoying it, so pleasantly surprised. Okay, so I'm at the very end of The Assassin and the Underworld. Can I just say, I hate a Robin. I think that's how you say his name. Why is he doing these things that he's doing? Sometimes I'll be like, okay, I think he can get better, and then he does something else, and I'm like, hello? Like, who are you? What do you think you're doing? And I just had to say that because I'm so annoyed with him right now. Glad that she finally told him. He's moving out. Okay. I just filmed the whole clip, but it was out of focus, so here we go again. Last night, I finished Assassin's Blade. I can't, like, why am I about to tear up again? I was not prepared at all for what happened at the end of that book, and I should have been, like, maybe I'm just stupid. But I don't, like, when I'm reading, I don't, I don't, like, think about what might happen necessarily. So I wasn't thinking about what was going to happen and I was just I literally sat in my bed and sobbed and I didn't film it but I did take like a couple pictures. I don't know like it wasn't it wasn't necessarily that I got so attached to Sam but it was like I think it was like going through the book with Selena and like seeing her attachment to him and getting like seeing how she why do I not have the words? Like the plan she made, like they finally got out of Robin's hold, kinda, and they had these plans to leave Rifthold? Is that where they live? I think so. They had the plans to leave and start a new life and like actually enjoy living and then it- and then he just died. So yeah. I don't even have the words like I don't even have the words like seeing the love that Selena had lost like she loved Sam and like they were ready to spend this whole life together and then she's ripped away and she really has nobody else right now because Ansel betrayed her a while ago and a Robin is a poopy Kai and now she's like in this prison with nobody something about Sarah J Mass and the way she writes hits me so deep within my soul like it really affects my emotions so I am unwell after reading that and I did not know I did not expect any of that I don't know why I didn't but I didn't expect any of that I don't know like there's not much to say other than that just hit me so deep in my heart and I'm so sad all that to be said I think I'm gonna rate this a 4.75 just because I loved it so much, but I didn't necessarily think it was a 5, but it was so close that I think I'm just going to do a 4.75. And I feel so dramatic, like stupid doing those point ratings, but like once you actually start thinking 
about a book, I think it makes sense to do the point ratings because like it's not a four star but it's not a five star so we're gonna go in the middle. I am glad that I read it first. I haven't even read the other books but like I feel like I made the right decision and I got the most enjoyment out of that book reading it first and not knowing what was gonna happen. Like not already knowing that that stuff happened which I don't even know. If, I don't know. I don't know because I haven't read the other books but like I feel like I got the most enjoyment and most raw emotion out of reading it first that I could have versus if I had read that second or not second if I read that third or fourth or whatever next I'm gonna start throwing a glass and this one also expires in a few days because I don't know why just I was not I wasn't ready to read them when I first got them and now they're about to expire so we're gonna start that and I'll let y'all know what I think about it we just met I have literally no idea how to say this chow chow coal chow I don't know but I feel like I've heard his name so I'm interested to see what goes down with this man everyone it's now the next day and yesterday I read like 33% I got to page 134 and I haven't updated since yesterday when I filmed that clip because I like spent the rest of the day reading and then I had to go watch my nephew so my sister could go on a date night with her husband so yeah I got 134 pages in and I'm really enjoying this book. Like, I'm really enjoying the plotline. Obviously, I'm enjoying the plotline. Like, why you enjoy it? every plotline of every book you read? I mean, like, I'm just enjoying the story of, like, I'm enjoying the storyline of her competing with these other people to be the king's champion. I just think that's so fun. Like, I wasn't expecting that. Especially, like, after reading Akatar, like I didn't know obviously it was gonna be a different book, but like I was just so used to Akatar I didn't know necessarily what was gonna be happening in this book. I just did the first like test thing, the one where they have to do the arrows, like they have to shoot the targets. Yeah. Another thing is like this is like the romance reader in me. I'm like already as soon as men are introduced into her life, I'm like is it gonna be you? Like, are you gonna be the love interest? So, like, whenever Kale, I think that's how you say it, Kale and Dorian came to the prison to come, like, see her and try to get her to work with them for this champion thing, I was like... Okay. Alright. I was, like, already... Like, is it gonna be them? I was like, we were going through it, and like, she was riding with Kale to go back to Rifthold to the king's castle. And I was like, mm, I'm liking this. Like, I think there's gonna be something here. And then I was like, okay, I'm sure. Like, I'm thinking it's gonna be him. And then we kind of like, because it's in third person, we kind of have like the POV of Dorian, which came in. And I was like, oh. So I was like, okay, then I guess maybe it's Dorian because we are kind of getting like, his POV and then so I was like okay maybe I need to switch my feelings over to Dorian like start focusing on him but like he's not around like it's her and Kale like he's the one hanging out with her training her doing all this stuff and then we kind of got Kale's POV so I was like okay now I can like actually like it's not set like I don't know who it is but like I'm not 
it's not like obviously one or the other which I mean I feel like it is obviously Kale but like I don't know we'll see I really hope Kale is the love interest and like maybe Kale and Dorian aren't even the love interest like maybe it's some other completely other different guy but I'm just like already like they're giving like they're giving little banter like she's flirting with him sometimes I'm just like always looking for the love interest because like I feel like there has to be one those are my thoughts so far. I'm just going to spend today reading more as much as I can because this book expires in like four days and then the next one expires in five days. So I'm like, I have to read this one fast so I have enough time to read the next one so that they don't expire on me. Another thing is like, I don't enjoy, like most people, I don't love third person. Like first person, you just get so much more insight to the character like being inside their brain and hearing their thoughts something about sarah j mass and the way she writes it's like she can get away with third person like i can handle it because she's just such a good writer also we got introduced to the princess that comes to stay at the ca castle i don't know how to say her name like N nehemiah something like that i don't know i don't know it's just anytime anyone gets introduced i'm already like who like who are we gonna be? Are we gonna stick around? Are you gonna like be a big role in this series? Like her and Caitlyn, I'm like, Caitlyn better not cause issues. Cause that girl is annoying. Now I'm gonna keep reading. I feel like I'm doing terribly at this vlog, like trying to say my reactions, but also like I just read and then I go film after I'm reading, but I kinda wanna do like my reactions while I'm reading. But I'm just trying to get the hang of it. Like this is my first reading vlog, we're gonna have to bear with it. In chapter 18. I'm gonna keep reading. Okay, I literally just started reading again after ending that clip and so like I'm in the first page and she's talking about how fine Dorian is and how she wants to kiss him and I'm like, whoa, whoa, like I thought, I thought we were, like that was so out of nowhere, like I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I was not expecting her to like already hop into that. I'm literally gonna cry like she's talking about Sam right now to Dorian. Like, it makes me so sad what happened. Like, I still can't get over it, and I don't think I ever will. I'm so, like, I don't know who we're gonna, who's the love interest? I, I don't even know if any of them are the love interest. But, like, the back and forth, like, like, the flirty banter kind of thing, like, enemies to lovers she has with Kale. But then, like, Dorian's there, and he likes her, and, like, she kind of likes him. Like, I don't know. But also, it could be, like, an enemy's... No, it could be, like, a love triangle, which, like, I do not like love triangles. But if it is a love triangle, I'm team kill. So, said that right here, right now. Also, I love how short these chapters are. Like, most of them are either 10 pages or under. They're so... It makes me feel like I'm flying through this book. Thank you, Sarah Mass, for the short chapters, because I really appreciate that. Are you telling me I'm supposed to not be Tim Kale? Because they just had the nightmare show where he, like, comforts her. Not, he didn't comfort her too much, but he, like, woke her up. Like, what am I supposed to do if not fall for this man? Ow, okay. Every little scene I get with them, I'm just already, I'm just more and more team kill. Okay, this just took such a turn. Elena was in her room during like the little, what was it called? There was some sort of holiday happening and she was in her room and she found a secret door, which immediately I got chills and I was like, this is so fun. I love a secret door. Like that's always so fun. And so she goes in there and she's like searching and searching and she finds a sewer she goes back up and then she has a dream that she goes to the one little one little archway that she didn't go through and she meets a fairy and she like the fairy Elena tells her all this stuff I'm like so that all happened so fast like I feel like the plot the storyline went from this to this so fast like so much is gonna like I don't know like now I'm like now I feel like I can't stop reading the what is about to happen also I'm so like because I read all of Akatar I'm so interested to see how this is supposed to tie in because I have no clue right now how this can tie in like is this supposed to be years before Akatar or is this like 
some sort of alternate universe like I have no idea because the way Elena was talking like the way she was like she had to make like not a deal but like she was like I shouldn't be here right now like girl what do you mean you shouldn't be here and are you dead or are you not dead like I'm so confused right now but yeah I'm just gonna keep reading and we're gonna find out okay it is once again the next day I think I got to 50% and then I had to go to my sister's house and sleep over so sometimes why am I okay Okay, so me and my sister both read, so sometimes we'll read together or we'll watch a show, but last night we watched a show together because we were really wanting to watch that show. And I didn't get to read until we were going to bed and I was laying there reading, but I went from 50% to, I got to 61%. I'm so interested to see who, what this monster thing is. And like last night in the book, they were talking about how it might be controlled. So I'm like, who's controlling this thing? Like, is it one of the one of the people competing to be a champion? Because if it is, tell me why I think it might be Knox. Is that his name? Whatever. The guy that she's, like, friends with. Like, I feel like it could be him because, I don't know. I literally don't have any reasoning. I'm just like, I feel like it's him because, like, why? Why not? Like, why not? Why not wouldn't it be him? That literally wasn't English. I can't talk right now. But I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, it's him. So we'll see. I don't feel like it would be Kane because like, it's already too classic. Like he is the bad guy that we're all not liking. I don't know who. I don't even know if she's like, how I said it was Team Kale. I feel like I take that back. I'm Team Kale for myself because I like him for me. But that's also just me always liking like the brooding like quiet guy who like has like a rough exterior but we're gonna find out more about him like I always love that type I don't know if she'll get with Prince Dorian either like maybe she won't be with any of these guys but like we'll see I don't know why I'm so focused on who she's gonna end up with but the romance reader in me is just like I need to know I need to finish this today which I think I can I only have like 40-ish percent left um and I need to finish it because it expires in like three days I think which like is enough time to finish that but then the book after this one expires in four days so that would literally only give me one day to read the next one and I can't be doing that so I need to get going and finish this which isn't like a big task like I'm really enjoying this so it's not like I'm forcing myself to but yeah also me literally having to look up every single character's name, every single city's name, because I cannot get the pronunciations of these down. The amount of times I've had to look up Nehemia, I think that's how you say it, look up her name because I'm like, I just forget, like, and I want to make sure I'm saying the right, the right way in my mind. It's a lot. Mm. pain for her period and Kale's just in there talking to her with not a clue not her finding what are they called the word I think that's how you pronounce it word the, those little marks that the beast that the monster like marks the people with not her finding that under her bed I would have been terrified I would have never slept again Dorian just gave Selena a dog I'm so confused on who to root for. I'm just gonna stick with Dorian right now, but like I love, I love Kale. But I'm sure he'll have someone in the future, so it's fine. Dorian just kissed Selena, and like it wasn't necessarily unexpected because like they've both been talking about each other in their minds, but like. I don't feel connected to them like I feel like normally I get connected to the couple like I feel like I'm in it with them but like I don't feel that with them for some reason and maybe like I'll grow to but I don't know like so far I don't and then like after Dorian kisses her and she goes in her room and she stands on the balcony and Kale is watching from he's watching from the garden 
I'm so sad. Like, I'm so sad because obviously he likes her. He's got some feelings. Like, he better have a happy ending. He better find someone. And I kind of hope it's Selena, but, like, we'll see. But I'm just not feeling connected. And I hope I do become connected because I don't like to read. Like, this is the main character. I don't want to read about her relationship and not feel connected to it. But we'll see. So it is Kane. I don't know why I'm shocked. Like I kind of thought it wouldn't be him. Like it does make sense now. He's really strong. Wait. The scene where Selena is going down the tunnels and like she finds Kane summoning the boost, that felt like when you're playing a Nancy Drew game and you're at the very end and you like go into a certain room and you like find the person who is like the culprit. Like if any of you have played Nancy Drew you know what I mean and it felt like I was reading a Nancy Drew book there for a second. I'm on chapter... 47 and I just realized that this one girl's name is not Caitlin it's Caltain <laughs> like why was why was I reading it as Caitlin this entire time I don't know I don't know the fact that Kale just killed Caitlin to save her and now I don't know what will happen to him but into the thing. Don't lick me. So last night I finished a Throne of Glass. That whole scene where she is in the battle with Kim and like she gets drugged and like starts having like she goes into the weird world. And like Elena comes through the sky, like that was crazy. I was like so lost the entire time and then Kane, like something's up with him. He died, like can we talk about that? Can we talk about the fact that Kale literally killed Kane to save her? Saved her twice, like when he walked up to her and like knelt down, he was like, get up, get up, get up. But then he killed Kane. And at the end, she like breaks up with Dorian, breaks up because they weren't technically together. But she's like, we gotta cool this, like I, I can't be doing this. And then Kale's like, he's a little bit happy about it. Like you can tell, like after she tells him that, he's like back to like when he was being a little flirty and happy. And I was like, let's not focus on the romance like I always do. I really enjoyed the storyline of watching her go through these trials and like having to compete against the other people and, and then the whole other plot of the boost that is killing the champions and how Kane was controlling that which I don't know why I didn't think it would be Kane. Like I thought like that would be the obvious answer which I don't know but it was him. And then like the whole Elena plot, like that had me so confused. And I'm still confused. Like they kind of explained it, but I'm still like, what the heck was going on? But we're gonna look past that because I'm sure it'll get more explained in the next book. Oh my gosh, I was so happy that Nehemia wasn't like bad or something. I got scared there for a second. Like after all Selena's been through with Ansel and like Arobin, I was like, please tell me that this new friend she has is not going to be terrible, actually. But she wasn't, so I was happy about that. As far as my rating for the book, I think... I rated it before on Goodreads. I think that's just what I'm going to stick with. I really enjoyed it, but like, wasn't the five-star feeling once again. They did. Next, I'm going to read Crown of Midnight, and I don't know if I'm going to include that in this reading vlog, because I feel like this might be long with the amount of clips I filmed. I'm going to put these clips into my computer right now and then I'll see how long it is and decide if I'm going to add Crown of Midnight in this reading vlog or just do another one for that. If this is the end and I'm having to say goodbye, I don't even know how to outro a channel because I feel so stupid doing the like, like and comment and subscribe, which like you should do, but like, 
I don't want to say that because that's annoying. But anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the video. See y'all next time.